Welcome to the third video in Indie Resources How to Make a Browser Based RTS. This is Halls of Valhalla. Um, this isn't a big update, won't be a long video. I just wanted to update the animations and stuff to get them a little nicer before we move on to the next video. Um, I did make a couple little changes now. You click the house basically the same, but when you click it, you'll actually see a couple little bit of animation. You'll see a build timer, and then you'll see the house pop up. Um, nothing special, but um, it does make it a little more RTS style, and of course the graphics will be changed and look better, so <clears throat> don't base it off just the graphics, because I'm kind of just throwing this stuff together as far as the gra graphically stuff. So let's start off. In the index, um, I've added a couple more global variables. These will be changed later. I'm going to get away from global variables, but now, like I said, we're building the concept of it, and then we can start fixing things as we go. So put a build meter, build time, and counter, and I'll show you where all that comes into play. Other than that, I haven't changed anything else on the index. On the main functions, though, I did add a build GUI, which is that meter that goes up. And basically, it, it's a layer instead of an actual sprite. Um, layers in with the library can be... They can change, they can move, you can, you can make them draggable, all kinds of really cool things, and it seems to work better, so... Um, this layer can actually be brought down by size a little bit. I have it 400 by 400 for just just testing purposes. We'll bring them down. I just set the limits to pretty good limits so it doesn't get stuck because this is going to be a static layer. It's not going to be moved. Um, I resized it to a small. In other words, when it's first built, um, it's resized to a very small just corner of it five. Set background. I use I added in the build bar, and if you notice, I added in another folder called GUI. And inside there, I have my build bar, so you can change that build bar. Um, and then I moved it to negative 100, negative 100. It doesn't matter because I, with with a layer, you can actually hide the layer, and so I've hidden it where you can't see it. Um, next, we're going to look down at the game loop. This is where the game is constantly. There's a loop constantly running. This is why this move to is actually important, is because if build GUI dot x, if it's dot x is greater than one, in other words, if it's moved on to screen, screen, then we are going to call a function called build meter. If we go into build meter, you'll see. Um, and before we go to build meter, let's let's look what actually calls the the build meter as far as the build dot x. So what I've done is is if if a building is built. Um, and this is just like before we click it and the house moves. We want to move the build meter just above the house. So it's going to be the house.x and the house.y minus 10, which moves it upwards. We want to show the meter. And then we want to change the internet.html, which is that area up here, back to nothing. So now that that's moved that x, this thing is going to fire off and say build meter. We come down here. If counter 1 is greater than build time. I set the build time to 2. Well, let's set it to 20. And what this is do is eventually this is going to be fed from the database of type of building you have for how long it takes to build. If you notice, now that I've set it to 2, it builds, or 20, it builds a lot slower. I'm not sure why it kicks back. We'll have to check that. Oh, I know why. Because it goes from 5 back to 2, so we can fix that. But see how much slower it goes now? Um, that's because we're incre incrementing it by 20 instead. And there really is a lot of different ways you can you can build this thing to be a little smoother. Um, let's fix this this right here real quick. Uh, let's change this from 5 to 1, and that'll fix that. And if we want it to build really fast, we can set this to 1. And bam, it's building faster. So you can see how we're setting ourselves up now for later being able to just drop a database modifier in there depending on the building, because some buildings may take longer. Um, so that resizes it. Oh, that fixed it there. So basically, this is going to resize it. If counter 1 is greater than build time, counter 1 equals 0, start the counter over. Build meter 1 equals build meter plus 2. You can actually change this to 1 to make your meter even go slower, but I think 2, two looked pretty good. And then build, build GUI resize. So you're resizing that bar by 2 points every time this counter goes off. And it'll be 2, and then 10 will be the height, so you don't want to change that. And then, uh, unless you want to, you know, to go vertically, counter 1 equals counter 1 plus 1. In other words, if it's always going to count up 1. So counter 1 starts at 0. Your build time, let's say, is 20. It's going to run through this 20 times before it builds the meter once. That's why it's slower. 
Um, if build meter is greater than 50, 50 is kind of the max where we want to put this meter. We may increase it, whatever, but if it's to 50, if we've reached our final, move the GUI back off the screen. In other words, the X will be gone. Um, we want the height. We want it to hide it. We're we're swapping the image. There is a house. There is, I mean, a, a swap image for this library, but I'm not using it right now. But we will switch supposedly faster. Um, but we're changing the image. We're setting the animation speed to zero and the frame to zero. And let me show you that real quick. If you go into your house now, which we need to clean this up. I need. I can get rid of these. You'll notice our animation is now a th is now three, which I'm in Adobe now, but I've actually created three blocks and I kind of move these guys around just a hair and that's how you create your animation and what I did was 75 by 75 so if you want to create more animations like have a guy walk around drop another how many over 75 you want here so for every 75 is another frame you want to drop and you can add that frame and it'll just loop over and over again and where it's looping at is right here in the beginning I have one set of frame and let me explain that that means there's just one of these. If there was another one over here, you could actually have two and three, and you could actually use more than one animation. But for just the house, you only need one one set, and it's three long. So if you add three more to make the animation even better, change that to six, and it'll loop through all six of them. So that's how you'd actually change that. And then you just set the animation speed. So if you want them building, looks like they're building faster, you can come in here and set the animation speed, which I have eight. So if you were to set this to 15 they would move even quicker or slower I'm sorry slower the higher you do the slower they are so you'd set it to one to go faster so let's just put that back and that, that should make everything look a little nicer for our start